Don't you think I'm too old to hold your hand? No. Jerry? Yes, Sam? Who's this? It's your dumb vampire face. Yeah, but who is it? You, when you grow up? No. It's a think. She's a vampire. She's not. She's two. He's not. He's two. He's not. He's two. He's not. He's two. The think is not a vampire. She is two. Oh. The think. Be gone, vampire. Back to your hideous dungeons of death. Be gone. Is she gone? Yes, she's gone. See, it works. Sam, Jerry. Come here, both of you. How many times have I told you to leave that poor old lady alone? But she's a vampire! She's not a vampire! She is too! I've got enough trouble trying to run this place without you upsetting the neighbours. Watch it. Now go and tell them dinner's ready. You look tired, Mum. Put these on the table. Mr. Blarkin! Mr. Blarkin! Mr. Lindstedt! Dinner's ready! He's very good, Mrs. Williams. Yes, very good. Thank you, Mr. Blarkin. Mr. Blarkin. Jish my mind, Beskepe. Speak English. Like mother used to make. I speak English good. Lere. Don't be rude. Shh yourself. Shh yourself. Tun mi khosi dima. Tun shat khosi skor dima. Che, che mi borat. Tun mi borat. Tun shat ke borat skor. Che, che, che mi khosi. Delicious as ever, my dear. Uh, everybody, there's a new boarder moving in tonight. His name is Mr. Edmund, and I hope you'll all make him feel welcome. Uh, feel welcome? Uh, Pari Yegar. Ha, ha, Pari Yegar. Hima haske sa, hima chat. Mi khosi haske sa. Nore met ki SMG. Che, 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 haske sa, hima chat. Che, mi khosi haske sa, hima. Mi khosi haske sa, hima. Mi This is Mr. Edmund. Hello, Cherry. Hello. You rooms this way, Mr. Edmund. Good night. Good night. He's a spy. Don't you mean a vampire? No, he's a spy. Mm. Oh, come in, Mr. Edmund. Uh, Cherry, will you do the introductions, please? Mr. Edmund, this is Mr. Lindstedt. Mr. Lindstedt. Mr. Edmund. Mr. Balakian. Uh, Mr. Edmund. Mr. Balakian. Mr. Balakian. <laughs> Mr. Balakian. Mr. Edmund. What about me? Oh. Don't tell me. You're Sam. How are you doing, Sam? Very well, thank you. Take a chair, Mr. Edmund. Uh, tea or coffee? Oh, thank you, no, Mrs. Williams. I am running late. Kenzie, kina vali na e bor besi uju bahe. Ay, o mana van poru deli kinti rama vajara. To spak te par. Yes, al shad gudem. A little hunger is often good for one. He speaks Armenian. Good morning. Well, a mystery man. I told you, he's a spy. A foreign spy. I'll be coming in here every day. And one day, I'll come out and I'll be a lawyer too. That's not what Mum says. Mum's wrong. She's right. They don't make people like you into lawyers. That's for rich people. I've got it. What are you doing, Sam? It's Mr. Emma's suitcase. That's stealing. Put it back. No, 
I'm going to open it, see if it's a bomb. If it is a bomb, you'll blow us all up. Didn't think of that. Quick, put it back before he sees you. <gasps> so it's not a bomb. Maybe it's other sorts of spy stuff. Sam, don't. Can't wait. Aha! Uh -huh. You know, when I was a small boy, I learned that if I wished to know something, I should ask. Are you all right? No. What, was that bad? Terrible. Take me out. Shh. Good morning. I told you. If you wish to know something, you should ask. All right, then. What sort of spy are you? Sam? I spy into people's hearts, Sam. Come on, I'll show you. Come on. Sam reckons she's a vampire. Return this, please. You do it, Sam. Me? Why? Just do it? Who's been a naughty boy then, eh? There we go. If you come back here again, I'll bite your ear off. <laughs> and then I'll eat it. All right? Well, goodbye then. She didn't even say thank you. She just left. You want to know where I go with this? Come on, I'll show you. Questo quello per me ve lo sono a quantare, vedi intorno, di intorno vedo, del mio cuore, le pere non c'è da me io ad uno, che è la crudeltà, lo costoro mi vesa e poi dono, di che fa donna in fiora, la vita. Oggi questa mi fa la gradita, passional, passional, fra domani e fra un'altra, forse un'altra, domani e fra un'altra.
of my heart, harp of joy, oh, crush mukri, moon of guidance by night, strength and light that to is worthy of his hire. That's right. <laughs> now. Can I ask you something? What do you sing? Yeah. What, did you see their faces when they stopped and listened? Or when they walked on, shaking their heads? <laughs> Some of them were thinking, who is that crazy man? Why is he singing? And some of them were thinking, I remember that song. That's a good song. And some of them were thinking, I remember that song. That song always makes me cry. So you're singing for them? No. Who then? I'm singing it for me. But I'm letting them listen. Don't you get embarrassed? I would. <laughs> I used to worry about that. I used to worry about what people would think, what they'd say if I tried to be who I am, me. But it's wrong. All of us, we must do what we have to do. Even if you make people angry? Even then. She's talking about Mum. Shut up, Sam. You've made your mother angry? I can't tell you. It's a secret. It's a dream, huh? How did you know? Well, all of us have a dream, Cherry. But too many of us, we hide them away deep inside our hearts until, before you know it, they disappear. I want to be a lawyer. Yes? Mum says she's nuts. The being a lawyer and a doctor and stuff is only for rich people. But I just can't stop thinking about it, Mr. Edmund. I want to help people like Mum and Mr. Balakin and Mr. Balakin and Mr. Linstead, who are so poor and, I don't know, weak when everyone around them is so strong. What do you think? I think your mother's wrong, Jerry. You do? Do you really want to become a lawyer? Yes. Then you will. What's your dream? <laughs> well, nothing as grand as cherries. Come on, I told you. It's your turn. All right. Well, all my life, I've wanted to sing in a large and beautiful mm. concert hall. Just once. With an audience, without one, it doesn't matter. I just want to know that once I've done it. And I want to sing my concert in the most beautiful opera house of them all. One day, just once, I'm going to sing here. Excuse me, young man. I wish to thank you for this morning. You will join me for morning tea tomorrow at 10.30. Thank you, Mrs. Finkel. And the children? Um, They'd be delighted. Good. I have heard you sing. You are right. This is the hall for you. We make uh, good money today with taxi cab. Double shift, double money. Wonderful news. Isn't it? Yeah, taxi cab good. I work hard there. Turn a bit, Ashkadi's kitchen. Aye, oh, kitchen Ashkadi, love good luck as he hammer. Shut the ram, Gishine says taxi cab. Cherry tells me she's going to become a lawyer. <coughs> I thought you would have forgotten that silly stuff. Why? Why is it silly? Well, did she tell you how she intends to pay for it? No. Or well, how she's going to compete with kids who've gone to the proper schools? No, she didn't. I can do it, Mum. I know I can. Cherry, we're not part of that sort of world. We don't belong there. I belong wherever I want to belong. Mr. 
Mr. Edmund, I'd appreciate it very much if you wouldn't fill my children's heads with silly ideas. Mrs. Williams, the most important, the very best thing I could ever do in my life would be to fill your children's heads with silly ideas. Go and spy, will you, Sam? Yeah, good boy. Look, those things are really unimportant. They don't really matter. That's my last word on the subject, Mr. Edmund. I'm responsible for my child's welfare, not you. I won't have a lie to. I'm not lying to her. What else do you call it? Hope. Lies. They're lies, Mr. Edmund, and they're unforgivable. If you kill her dreams, that's unforgivable. I'm not going to be lectured by you, Mr. Edmund. You've been here two days and already you've turned my children against me. Just who do you think you are? A friend. I don't need friends, Mr. Edmund. Or dreams. My husband had dreams. He dreamt he could win enough money at the races to have us all live in style. And when he lost all his money, he decided that he could find his dreams in a bottle. And the more he dreamt, the more bottles he looked into. Till one day he wasn't there anymore. All this left her is debts. I'm still paying them. I don't need lies, and neither do my kids. And you're not to take them busking with you anymore. I won't have my children begging. Mrs. Rowe. I admire you, but you're wrong. Shush. Good night, Mr. Edmund. Good night. I know you're mad at me, but I'm trying to protect you. Don't hate me. Please don't hate me. You are one of those who call me vampire? Like this? Yes, Fink. Mrs. Finkel. Come. I have seen you and your friends down at the key. We used to help Mr. Edmund. We helped good too, till Mum stopped this. I bet you did, sir. <laughs> Cake. Mr. Edmund's going to sing at the Opera House. I'm interested. One day. All we need is $9,000. Cherry, please. She's talking to me, young man. Don't interrupt. You. Sorry. That's what it costs to hire the Opera House, you see. That's Mr. Edmund's dream, to sing there. And when Mr. Edmund sings there, I'm going to be the usher and do all the publicity. See? Wonderful, Sam. Yes, yes, you will be the usher and you will do the publicity. Good. What will I do? Go. You, my dear, will do something very important. What? You will turn some music pages. But Mr. Edmund doesn't use music pages. Ah. Oh. But I do. Oh. 
concert of yours. It's a dream, no? You have a dream usher, a dream singer, a dream page turner. Could not we have a dream pianist too? Mr. Edmund, please. Welcome to the dream, Mrs. Mingle. Good. Turn the page, please. Mrs. Finkles, you went to her house and, and, and lived? She's a nice lady. She's just a bit old, that's all. So, miracles do happen. That's what Mr. Edmund's been telling you, Mum. What are you looking at, Mr. Edmund? You, Mrs. William. Why? Because you look particularly beautiful today. Margaret. My name's Margaret. You may all call me that if you want to. You don't listen to what's uh, happening. Mr. Larkin, Mr. Larkin, what happened? Is you the, can't come in here like that. Is the taxi cab, it broke it down. It broke down. No good. Hours we fixed, no good. No good. Rubbish. Your tongue name? Ayo, a good Nasotoshi's girl. Love, a good night, but it's a few pump name. You fix cars too, Mr. Edmund? Uh, yes. I thought so. Excuse me, you can? Oh, yeah. No, very good. Well, there's really not much he can't do, is there? <laughs> Margaret. Ah, ha, ha, Grunen is pulling me away. Let's take I with Macro Mac to the road. Ah, ha, ha, Grunen's a pulling love on me. As to my with my son, like for my lord. Sure, by Tom and Luck Rabbit and Luck Arbor, I will go. By heaven, tracks with heather in their wiles. If it's thick and in your inner heart, dragons in my step. Jerry, let's get out of here. No. Look closely. There's nothing there. Is there nothing there? But look. <laughs> <laughs> Mum won't let you. Why not? You know she hates having strangers in the house. What about the boarders? That's different. Sam, why aren't you asleep yet? Mum. You know how it's my birthday on Sunday? Yes. I... Go on, tell her. I want to invite Mrs. Finkel to my party. Oh, Sam, I don't want her with all the money to see this place. What's wrong with it, Mum? It's our home. If people don't like it, they can leave it. Can't I just ask her? Oh, all right, you can ask her, but she won't come. Yes, she will. I've already invited her. Oh, oh boy, he's a jolly good fellow. Boy, oh, he's a jolly good fellow. Boy, oh, he's a jolly good fellow. And so say all of us. Hip hip, hooray! Hip hip, hooray! Hip hip, hooray! What do you wish for, Sam? Don't tell, or it won't come through. I wish for. I wish your mum would put on a party hat. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yes, come on, come on. Yes. Come on. Oh, oh, that is fine. Beautiful. Yes, Can you open your nice. present, son? What did you really wish for, Sam? The usual. What's the usual? A father. He always wishes he had a dad. <laughs> one from each. Uh, one from me is what Margaret always talk of, money. We give you her own, Sam, not for her. <laughs> <laughs> Shoes? Need them, Sam. <gasps> wow! One day you're going to be a big uh, artist, Sam. You need the best. What is it, Mr. Winstead? It's my officer cadet's dress uniform, Sam. When I was just a little older than you, I used to wear it to all the dances and all the concerts. That's very kind of you, Mr. Winstead. Oh, kindness has nothing to do with it, Margaret. When this young man sings his concert with this fine lady and Cherry, the usher will need to be perfectly dressed. So it's like an usher's uniform. <laughs> Indeed. 
I told you, Mum. There will be a concert. All you need now is the Opera House. Speech, Sam. Yes, yeah, Come on, Nick. Come on, Nick. Wait, wait. I haven't given Sam my present yet. What is it? It was given to me by a friend of mine a long time ago. Now I pass it on to a new friend. Oh, we couldn't possibly accept that, Mrs. Finkel. I am not asking you. It's Sam's. Sam? Whenever you see a vampire, you just hold up the cross, like this, and it disappears. <laughs> Great! That song, I have not heard that song for 30 years. No, that is not correct. I have heard it on my wireless, on my gramophone, on my television. But not like this, with people, real people singing. People must have other people, or... Or what? Or they turn into vampires. Oh, Mr. Edmund, children, we must rehearse harder now. Why? I have booked Sir Opera House. What? what? Am I not speaking plainly? Yesterday, I have booked Sir Opera House. We play there in three weeks. Combat delates, bright eyes fondly regard. For the affront heart waits, Toriado, for the affront heart waits. I can do it, Mum, I know I can. Cherry? Yes. About the concert. Are you scared? Yes. Going to do it anyway? Yep. Good. Think above the note. In the head. Yeah. Mm. Look! Finished! Oh, beautiful! Wow. <laughs> oh, very good, Sam. Very good, yes. Sam. Very nice, Sam. All Very I good. need now is a hundred of them. One hundred, eh? Uh -huh. Sam, you got it. Remember what I want you to do. You've got to remember it. You can put your caps in there. And when I give you the nod, I want you to cry. Okay. Uh -huh. You'll be able to do it. Good boy. Uh -huh. One of your drivers has run over this boy's pussycat. Someone's run over this kid's pussy cat. Yes. <laughs> What's his name? I don't know. I want my pussy cat. Hey, hey, would you like a Coca Cola? No. I want my pussy cat.
Something's wrong, Margaret. What is it? Nothing. Ever since you came here, I've been feeling more and more old and ugly, cramped. The kids adore you. Everyone adores you. You're the Pied Piper, the king of the kids, the big hero. I'm just the hag in the kitchen who cooks and walks all over my little girl's dreams. Margaret. Let me finish. You know what I did last week? I went to a courthouse and I sat in the back looking at the lawyers with their fancy wigs and gowns and your worships and my lords. And I tried to imagine Cherry there. And I couldn't. Well, I can. Of course you can. You won't be around once the dream's over and she realises what sort of world this is. You won't be around to pick up the pieces. She's not your daughter. Come to our concert. No. Why not? You're a dangerous man, Mr. Edmund, and you're going to break Cherry's heart. No. No, I'm going to teach her to fly. What's going on? Let's find out. Hello. We've come to see Mrs. Finch. Are you friends of hers? We're her best friends. I think you'd better come in. going to sing. Mrs. Finkel hired it. Hired it? Hired what? She hired the opera house. <laughs> Look, if we could just talk to Mrs. Finkel. Better tell them, darling. Aunt Lillian's had a heart attack. A bad one. She's in hospital. And, uh, Look, I really don't know how to say this, but... You see, Aunt Lillian's husband was a wealthy man, but for 20 years now, she's lived off a pension. She hasn't got the money to hire a phone booth, let alone the opera house. You lied to me. I hate you. You said dreams could come true. You lied. I hate you and I hate her. Which hospital? She's very ill. Only a couple of minutes, all right? Yes, we understand. I don't want to see her. Yes, you do. Come on. Come on. I don't. I hate her. And you hate me too, right? Eh? Then do as you must. Cherry, we're both going in there. Got it? Oh, you came. I know you would. Even the children. Yes, of course. Your name's Lillian. How are you feeling? Don't mind me. We must talk about the opera house. Look, don't worry about that. Uh, I called them. Called them? Yes. They said not to worry about anything. They will send back the money. And, uh, and we, we could do the concert another time. Wasn't that nice of them? They send back some money. And we can do the concert another time. Yes. Mr. Edmund, I'm not saying I... I pretended to be rich. I pretended to book the opera house so you would be my friends. It doesn't matter, truly. But it does. Truly. Cherry, come. Move back. Mr. Edmund will sing one day. One day you will be a lawyer. One day Sam will have a father. Don't let me take your dreams from you. Don't let it be over because of one silly old woman. It is over. Cherry, you are stronger than you think you are. 
Well, you'd better go. Why? Because I'm dying. It's no big deal, but I'll miss you all. Sam. Goodbye, Sam. Goodbye. Now go. I think it's time to leave now. Yes. Is she sleepy? Yes. What do we do now, Mr. Edmund? Mr. Edmund? I don't know, Sam. You don't know? Mr. Edmund? Did you mean it when you said you didn't care if you had an audience? I just wanted to sing that. Well, there's no audience right now. <laughs> Sam. I want you to run home as quick as you can and tell your mother to come to the opera house right away. We've got a concert to do. Now? Yes. Mum won't come. Yes, she will. Why? For Mrs. Finkel. Come to the opera house right away. It's for Mrs. Finkel. Want me to write it down? Of course not. Not down. Hurry. That was me once. If you don't go, Margaret, I'm packing my bags and leaving. Me too. Me too. And me too! Sutherland and Pavarotti had performed in here, as the rock stars Billy Joel and Phil Collins. One week we staged a boxing match in here, the following week the ballet Swan Lake. The late, great actress Betty Davis has appeared on stage in here, as have hundreds of children taking part in school concerts. Well, here we are. pipe organ. With its 10,500 pipes, it's the largest mechanical action pipe organ in the world. The seats around the hey, side... Hey, didn't you say no one's allowed on stage? That's right. So what about them? Excuse me, what are you doing? It's all right. He's Mr. Edmund. Yes, I... Uh, I'm uh, sorry, I didn't recognize him. Excuse me, please. Uh, who is Mr. Edmund? Who knows? 
No one tells you anything around here. Shoot. I can't come on, shoot any faster. Yeah. Come, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on. Ready? I'm scared. Me too. Excuse me, excuse me. Please, concert hall, where is? Ladies and gentlemen, quiet please. Mr. Edmund will now sing the Arisque Love Lilt. They tell us when they're going to rehearse. Dear white heart, black the night or oh, wild the sea. By love's light, my foot finds the old pathway to thee. Then me Stasera nina mia, io son montato, te lo dirò, te lo dirò. Colà, dove stetti un cor ingrato, più fa non po', più fa non po'. 
Colà, cocenti a fuoco, ma se fuggi, ti lascia sta, ti lascia sta. E non ti corre presso e non ti struggi, arriva da, arriva da. Lesti, lesti, vi ammontiamo su là, lesti, lesti, vi ammontiamo su là. Funiculi, funicula, funiculi, funicula. Cherry's dream. Cherry's dream. Cherry's dream.